Hello everyone, Kyle here, and today we're going to be playing some Kingdom Come Deliverance, a game that lets you roleplay that you're a peasant. Just in case, like me, you haven't experienced enough of that in real life, you'll lead a simple life filled with quests that would have you fetch things for your father, a blacksmith, as you craft a sword together in a beautiful father-son modern experience of a lifetime. What could possibly go wrong? I'm not sure. Well, for starters, the story of the game has your parents go on holiday right before your eyes at the ripe old age of 33. However, they do not go on holiday due to old age. Instead, they perish at the hands of some raiders. The game would have you do a bunch of things before eventually getting vengeance against this man here. We know he's the villain because he doesn't have hair. Instead of finding revenge by targeting the raiders, who, after all, were simply underpaid and underappreciated laborers, we will destroy every single person who lives in our parents' village, including the guards. Without cheats and without remorse. I can hear you say now, but Kyle, why would we kill the neighbours of our parents? They didn't do anything wrong. You just sound like a psycho. Well, let me explain. Had these simple folk bought more of my father's novelty swords from his failing business, Blacksmiths Are Us, we would have had the money to move out of harm's way. Let's start from the beginning though and work through this emotional baggage together. You play as a character mm. simply known as Henry. He may look slow, but believe me, he also actually is. In the game you can make choices within conversations that help improve certain skills, but as someone who is terrified of both social interaction and having to make choices, we will mostly ignore the chances to converse within the game. Instead, the we'll use our hands as they were intended to be used, to block the words coming out of other people's mouths until they pass out. Th th that's right, that's right, I don't want to listen to what you have to say, just lay down. Well, as he's passed out, we may as well take all of his clothes. Then we'll hide his body under the cart so people aren't aware of our crime. Oh, hello there, mother. You're looking lovely. What am I up to? Nothing. Nothing is what I'm up to. What the? He's awake already? Oh, God, he's going to be so angry at me after I've knocked him out and robbed him. He's probably going to go home and get a weapon to attack me with or something. Or, oh, or he'll just uh, return to work in. Wow. Um, this must be a normal occurrence for him because he literally doesn't care. In that case, he won't mind if I do this. Hi, Dad. I bought you a peasant as a present. Kind of rhymes, doesn't it? I know, I know. You said no more peasants as we don't have the room, but I just couldn't resist. I can see you're kind of busy at the moment, so I'll take him to Mother. Hello again, Mother. Okay, okay, I think I understand what you're getting at. We can wash him together. Does that make you happy? Just have to gently glitch him through the wood. Ah, he looks comfy. His feet are going to be dirty, though, unless he tucks his legs in. Oh, you're awake. Not much of a talker, are you, huh? Oh. That's fine. You live here now. I'll see you later. Right. We need to go into town and find some equipment. Perhaps a weapon if we're to slaughter all of the villagers. Now, we could go around to quest and save up the gold in order to buy a weapon from the trader. Or we could just pick a fight with someone much stronger than us, knock them out, and steal all of their belongings. Let's see how this pans out. God save you, Henry. God save me? What is that, a threat? Are you threatening me? Mm -hmm. I'll be back for you. Surprise! I'm back already. Yeah, yeah, I decided that comment bothered me way more than it should have. Cut me quite deep, you know. So, you're going to be the first to die. Okay, so we'll just lay you down inside this building and then gently snap your little neck. Pop! There we go. Good and dead. Let's take his stuff now and dress up as a guard so that people trust us more. Cool. Now I look and I feel the part. And better yet, hey, we can toy with the guard's emotions part. like this. Hey, put that away before I lose my temper. <laughs> what are you playing at with that weapon? Uh, you're stupid. We can also go around stabbing chickens. It doesn't actually give us weapon skills, but it sure feels good. And I think the villagers are okay with us killing their livestock, but only if they can follow us around and watch us do it. Okay, show's over. The chickens are dead. And you're starting to freak me out now. Baron's wife, huh? So, why are you only known as his wife? Is that what's bothering you? That you lack a personality of your own? Oh, thank God, Baron, you're here. Your wife is freaking me out. I'll just close this. She's literally following me around and staring at me. Like, like this. Oh, she does this to you too? I can see why you go collecting water so often. Trouble in the marriage, her. Huh? Well, don't worry. You go and get yourself some water and I'll take care of that wife of yours. Hello, Gertrude. I hope you don't mind that I've named you. We need to talk. Yep, 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 yep. Let the words out. That's better, isn't it? Good night, Gertrude.
Oh, she's out like a light. Well, we'll just move her into the back room now. Oh, oh no, what did you hear? Something breaking? Hmm, well, it wasn't Baron's wife's neck, that's for sure. Why don't you just come inside and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, go to sleep. Just put you here and gently end your suffering. Oh, Baron, what did you hear? Something stabbing? Oh, well, uh, oh, this is getting old now. I stabbed Jane. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. your wife's dead too. I know. I know, it's sad, isn't it? Now you'll rest here with Jane and your wife. You've always dreamt of sleeping with multiple women. Well, now you'll sleep forever with multiple women next to you. Like, lying beside you. Not, yeah. So, all this sneaking around just isn't going to kill everyone fast enough. I'd rather have the freedom to roam the streets and slaughter people on sight. So, to achieve this, there are two things we need to do. Firstly, we need to kill all the guards in the town who, for whatever reason, oppose our life choice and will try to stop us from murdering innocent people. And secondly, we need to desperately skill up our weapons, as currently, this is all I can do with my bow. Not very scary, huh? So, let's sort the weapon skill out first. And in order to skill up, we do need to hit things. People tend to complain a lot and run to the guards. So I have found some cows in a field at the back of the village who complain a lot less. In fact, if you heard them just right, you can get their little heads stuck in the bush and they will happily just stand still while you stab away until they die. You finish skilling up or you have a heart attack from being in a constant state of whatever the heck this is. Great. Now we've successfully murdered a couple of cows and turned them into Swiss cheese. That's the one with the holes in it. I'm saying we put a lot of holes in the cow. Whatever, listen. After we kill the cows, if we move far enough away from the location after losing them, they do respawn. I have found that getting to my father, speaking with him, and then returning to the field does the trick. The reason we want to respawn the cows is so that we can re-kill them. Although this does make me want to stab myself repeatedly, we do need those skill points. Now that our weapon skill and warfare are up a bit, we should be skilled enough to fire the bow. Ah yes, that is much better than dribbling the arrows out. Next, I think we should work on our strength so that we can pack more of a punch when we hit people. A way in which we can level this up is either to continue slaying cows or, weirdly enough, we can go the route of flower picking because you can unlock this skill, which basically skills up your strength as well as your herbalism. I know which one I'd rather do, so let's get picking. It's nice to take a relaxing break from the everyday struggles of being a serial killer and pick some flowers. Being one with nature really fills me with creativity and love. Roses are red, violets might be too. I'm colour blind, so instead I'll kill you. Cool, that should do it. I'm carrying so many flowers now that my character can barely move. Let's take it to the trader and sell them. Right, I feel much stronger now, so let's turn our attention to freeing this village from the oppressive tyranny of the guards before eventually freeing the people of their lives. In order to kill the guards easier, we should probably increase our stealth skill a little bit more, which we can do by simply making people pass out. We want to get this skill up high enough so that we can unlock this one, which is what we'll use to do most of the murdering. Let's lurk around the edge of town and just attack peasants who are out for walks. Time to sleep. Just lay you down out of sight and gently stomp on your face. What the hell? That was a bit extreme. What happened to the gentle snap of necks? that we all loved. Oh, did you see what I just did? Ah, oh, yeah, well, I guess I might as well stomp on your face too now, as that is the thing I do. Oh, I guess it shows character progression. I started shy at killing, but now I'm a little bit more into it. Do we even need to be killing these people? I don't think we do. It's just a bit of a habit of mine now. Hey you, don't you know it's dangerous around this area? Yeah, there's literally two dead guys back there. They're face is all caved in from being stomped on it's gross ah do you know what i'll show you them stompy stompy i should really find some new shoes as these ones are starting to get a bit of brain on them excuse me ma'am do you 
you happen to have the key for this door? I'd like to go inside and rob the place. No? Well, I don't believe you. Let's see, let's see, door key. You lie to me. Why would you do that? Normally I feel bad about breaking someone's neck that I've only just met, but you, you deserve this, you monster. Hello, card guy. I too am a guard. You can tell because I'm wearing a uniform. I find it weird that you aren't bothered by me walking around in one of your uniforms, actually, which makes me think that perhaps you aren't a real you guard you yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm on to you, buddy boy. Right, bring you over to Baron's house and lay you down here. And with a quick wiggle and pup, now you've stopped. So this gentleman here is actually the guy who we have a quest to speak to. But I do feel like strangling someone from behind is worth a thousand words. Ah, no option to kill him. What if we stab him a bunch? No, no, he's still alive. Weird. I don't like this guy. Ah, Mr. Invincible is back to his feet, are we? Just because you're invincible doesn't mean I can't keep you in a constant coma. The last thing we'll do before we start our rampage is buying one of these potions from the trader. This is basically the only way you can save between missions. So I think it'll be useful for us to do before we risk our livelihood as there is no way I'm starting again. The potion is pretty damn expensive. Way more money than I would usually be willing to spend. However, I know that she has the gold now and she is also the person who buys stolen goods. With this knowledge, we can skillfully sneak into the back of her house by walking through this door uncontested and rob her of all her possessions. And then we simply bring it to her and sell them to her. I reckon what you're trying to sell me is stolen. I'll pay less for that. Yes, I would say these are stolen goods. However, they are about to be reunited with the owner, so it's a happy ending for everyone. Well, I would be happy if the price was a little better. You damn cheapskate. Okay, plan B. We're going to go back and we're going to steal even more. What? Yep, yep, just grab her and yeah i wonder if she'll even notice that is her maid's outfit that we're trying to sell to her i'd say probably not it's not likely that she's ever made eye contact with the help and thank you oh, for yeah. your business right now it's time to fight the guards hello have you not wondered where your colleagues have disappeared to is it just a normal thing for guards to stop showing up for work you'd think they'd be part of a union protected or something it's just sad how badly you people are treated sad oh he's overpowered Powered me. Run, 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 run. Oh, he really isn't going to stop, is he? Oh, what have I ever done? I've literally done nothing. I'm innocent, I tell you. Run, run, oh, Puckle. Ha, 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 I'm up here and you're down there. Now what? Oh, it's a bow fight you want? Bring it on. I'm well trained now. Yeah, that's right. Surrender to me, but I take no prisoners. Really? There's more of you? I'm starting to feel really bad about just sitting up on a roof and shooting you. I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, okay then. As long as you're happy. I know it looks like I'm cheating, but it's really more of an exploit and there is a difference. And it's not my fault as well that the people aren't able to climb. <laughs> no, not really. It's more like target practice, isn't it? I don't feel overly good about this, but I also don't feel overly bad either. You're pretty much doomed. Okay, I'm starting to get really tired of these random civilians. Yeah, 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 there's corpses. I see them. Look, will you just go away? Oh, oh God, I just... Oh, I honestly did not mean to hit you there, madam. Oh, God, not again. I'm so sorry. Oh, just, um... This feels wrong on so many levels. Maybe one of us should leave. Oh, thank you. Do you know what? I'm going to do something much worse now than killing all these people. I'm going to help myself to your dinner. Mm -hmm, that's good dinner. After all that eating, it's got me in the mood for more. Yep, you guessed it. Strangling. And I think all the guards are gone now. Oh, who put this halberd on the floor here? It's kind of a weird thing to find lying around. Calm down, mate. No one's going to get... Oh, oh dear. Uh, I'll just, um... I'll just put this back down. No one saw that, right? Uh, he tripped? Now that all the guards are dead, let's finish levelling up our stealth skill. So we're going to go ahead and strangle a few more people without killing them. He's lagging a corpse! 
He's not a corpse yet. I just said I'm not going to kill him. Give me a chance. Kanish is always a good person to revisit the invincible bugger. Now this woman as well. And one more should do it. See, this is why I didn't kill him. Because now we can knock him out again for twice the experience. And now that we've leveled stealth up, the real fun begins. Stealth kill. Right, we need a dagger. So we'll kill the field workers for this. As I'm sure they'll have a weapon on them. Yeah. Just strangle Adam. Oh, hello, madam. What's up? Okay, yep, yeah, cool. There we go. A dagger. And with this dagger, we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> stabby stabby have yourself a stab Zevshek Zevshek can't be killed what who are you why are you immune to dying if I can't hurt you physically I'm going to damage you emotionally watch as I kill this lady before your eyes <laughs> yeah that's right and guess what therapy doesn't exist yet so you're screwed now we can go around the village just clearing out the last civilians swiftly not this time I'm here for something else didn't I you hear it. the lady? Murder. She's here for something else. And guess what? My dagger is something else. It's pure poetry. Stab, 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 stab. Stomp, 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 stomp. Stab, 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 stab. stab. Stab, 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 stomp. Friendly tussle. Friendly tussle. And a stab, and a stab, and a stab. Well, I think that is everyone in the village truly as dead as dead can be. I've accomplished what I set out to do, which was basically just be a psycho bar. The good news is it's going to stop the bad thoughts for a little bit longer. Oh, hello there, mother. You need me to do anything? Ah, uh, you're a good lad, but I'm fine. <laughs> ah, you've always believed in me no matter what. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching my midlife crisis unfold in the form of destroying an entire town, as much as I've hated every minute of it. If you'd like to see me delve further into the darkness of this game, maybe kill another village or two, then let me know in the comments. For now, I'm going to shoot arrows into the sky and try to catch them with my face, killing the one person who deserves to die. Until next time, toodaloo.